I'm just about to reveal one of the easiest ways you can make money online by selling art even if you're not an artist with the use of stable diffusion so let's get started. The website you want to connect to is called huggingface.co and this is where you can try stable diffusion 2.0. This is just a demo but it's all we need in order to make it work and as you can see right here this is a deep learning text to image model released in 2022. In other words it is literally going to take your instructions written in a natural language and turn your text into an image with within 60 seconds or so. Not only is it really fast, but it can come up with some very cool results. If you head over to the Wikipedia page, you can actually see a bunch of cool images. I mean, the things AI can do are pretty impressive to be honest. But here's the thing about it. Even though Stable Diffusion has the capability of creating such settings and images, Nobody is going to pay a single dollar for these. This is just a random image. Why would anyone purchase it? The fact of the matter is, Stable Diffusion is just a tool and it is up to you to find a good use case for it. And that's why I've put together a case study here that will help us understand what people are buying. What I want you guys to do is head over to AmericanAFNation.com or AAFNation.com, right? Make sure you spell that right. And this is where you can start exploring some crazy cool designs. Now, as the name of the website might suggest, all of these designs are inspired from American culture. We've got famous actors here, previous presidents, and all sorts of other stuff. But what I noticed here is that some of these designs are actually incredibly cool. I mean, look at the ones on the homepage. You've got previous presidents here writing dinosaurs, you've got Lincoln on a bear. I mean, they're pretty outstanding. And so the question is, can we get a very similar result using artificial intelligence? Because my guess is there were some talented artists behind these designs. But if you're not a talented artist, you're yourself, then we're gonna need AI. So here's what you want to do. The thing about stable diffusion is that it's really user friendly. All you need to do is enter in your prompt and then when it comes to the negative prompt, this is all about the things you don't want to see in the picture. For instance, I can type in low quality, as in I don't want to see any low quality in the image, right? And when it comes to my prompt, let's just give it a try. Let's type in Abraham Lincoln riding a bear and let's generate the image. It shouldn't take longer than 60 seconds to get a result, but either way it's just a lot faster than than creating the illustration yourself, which is already a major advantage. <laughs> so here's what we got so far. Now, I gotta tell you, some of these are pretty messed up, but it's not too far off. I mean, this is a pretty good start. It certainly doesn't compete with these options, which look epic, but they're a pretty good starting point. And this is about where I would stop using Stable Diffusion and I would move over to another tool. Here's what I mean. What I'm gonna do right now is just copy one of these pictures. I'm just gonna save this one on my computer. And the next thing I'm gonna do is connect to Mid Journey, which is a very similar tool. It's also powered by AI, but from my experience, it can come up with some better results. I mean, some of these illustrations and pictures here are absolutely insane in terms of the quality and the creativity. It can literally take your picture and turn you into a Disney character, or it can come up with some incredible designs in all kinds of different styles as well. And so here's what you want to do. First off, you need to connect to midjourney.com and click on join the beta, and that will allow you to join your discord server that's got a little bit short of 6 million members. Once you're here, you want to go over to one of the newcomer rooms and then download the picture you've just downloaded from Stable Diffusion. You may want to pay attention to this because it might get a little bit confusing. So I'm just going to upload that picture and hit enter. Now, once it's successfully uploaded, you want to click on the picture just like that and then open the original. That is going to open it in a new tab and now you want to right click on it and copy the image link. Let's go back over to Meet Journey and here's what you want to type. There is a specific command that you want to send and that is slash imagine and then you get to enter in your prompt. You want to paste in the link you've just copied then add a comma and start typing in your description. But I want you to pay attention to this. There are all sorts of different keywords that we can use in order to manipulate the final result. For instance, we can get a hyper realistic photo. We can get a cartoonish aesthetic. We can get an anime design. The possibilities here are limitless. And now you also want to make sure to add this parameter at the end of your image and that is that dash v4. So now let me hit enter and let's see what Mid Journey can come up with. The tool is simply gonna take this picture that we got from Stable Diffusion and create four different variations in a different style that we get to choose. It is gonna take approximately 60 seconds to get the result. But once you're done, 
you can pick one of those four variations and further enhance it until you get something that you're satisfied with. Now guys, here are the results we've got so far. Now, to be honest, these are not the best pictures I've ever seen, but this one in the bottom left corner doesn't look too bad. So what I'm gonna do is just pick V3 and further enhance it. Basically, Mid Journey is going to create some more variations starting from that picture. Now, just as a side note here, while our result is getting delivered, we cannot just copy these designs because these guys have already been in the business for some time they are quite an established brand so our chances of standing out from the crowd and competing against them are pretty slim they've got some cool designs here to say the least but what we are going to do is actually reverse engineer the process that made them successful so we can hopefully replicate their earnings as well now these are the new variations that mid journey came up with and as you can spot slowly but surely some of the elements got lost and so it might take a while before you get a good understanding of how to properly use these tools to get the best results. I'm just gonna give it one last try. Here are the results that Mid Journey came up with. And in my opinion, these are significantly better. They're just a better starting point. Now, I'm not sure this is a bear and not an elephant, but that doesn't really matter. What is for sure is that we can definitely keep working with these until we get something we actually like and we can sell. From my experience, Stable Diffusion seems to be a little bit more difficult to use than Mid Journey, or at least it's not as user-friendly. I'm pretty sure you can get some really cool results with Stable Diffusion too, if you know how to properly use it. But Mid Journey seems to respond a little bit more easily to commands. And as you can see, it can come up with some insane results. I mean, it literally took this guy's picture, which is this one right here, and it turned it into that, which is amazing. But now, getting back to our method, the most important thing that we need to do is follow American AF's example and create our own brand. Not only that, but we need to find our target audience. In their case, that target audience was all about Americans. But you can do the same exact thing in your country if you happen to live outside the US. You can find some unique elements in your culture and turn them into t-shirt designs. And if you struggle with that, let me help you out. Actually, I'm not the one that's gonna help you. Artificial intelligence is. What you wanna do is head over to OpenAI and we're gonna make use of ChatGPT. This is a language model that can be quite useful when it comes to creative tasks. Believe it or not, ChatGPT can actually come up with the ideas for your t-shirts. Look at this. What's a cool design for a gift t-shirt for a Canadian? Well, a design featuring iconic Canadian imagery such as the Maple Leaf, the Rocky Mountains, or Niagara Falls. A t-shirt with a humorous slogan or a phrase that really to Canadian culture. You've got five different creative ideas here and it only took it a few seconds to come up with this. But the main takeaway here is that branding really makes a difference. Now, when it comes to setting up your online store, all you need to do is connect to printful.com. And once you're here, you wanna sign up for a new account as a seller. You basically get to create and sell custom products online. You get to build your own e-commerce store within printful.com where you can sell your items. You don't need any web hosting or anything of that kind. And there are a bunch of items to choose from, ranging from t shirts to sweaters, hoodies, or even posters and canvas prints. You've got many others. You can even create jackets or footwear. You get to upload your digital designs. Printful.com will take care of printing those onto the physical items and even shipping the items to your customer. I'm pretty sure that's what American AF also does. I'm pretty confident that this is also a printing on demand business and they've got a manufacturer who will just print these items on demand for them whenever they get an order because otherwise it doesn't really make sense. And so guys, it doesn't matter which approach you go for, whether you want to start with Stable Diffusion or you just head over to Mid Journey, the bottom line is this. Artificial intelligence can help you come up with some really, really cool designs. I mean, take a look at this. If you do a good enough job when it comes to branding and marketing your products, these items right here can sell for a lot of money. We've got all the resources you need to make it work. So you just gotta go out there and set up your online business. That's it for now and thanks for watching.